Welcome dreamers, this video is gonna be a little different. We're gonna be direct and straight to the point. So go on ahead, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Now this video is gonna be four tips to protect your money in a recession or in a, a market pullback. I'm gonna show you guys how you could make money or protect money to where you don't lose all of your profits in such a short term. Now these four strategies could be implemented right now for any beginner investor. There are advanced techniques out there when the market's pulling back to where you can make a a whole bunch of money but in this video i'm going to give you four beginner investor tips to protect your money or make a little money while the market is pulling back all right so tip number one is to diversify your portfolio if you're holding different stocks inside there a whole bunch of individual stocks let's say you're a beginner investor you start to buy nike you start to buy amazon you started to invest inside companies that you actually use like coca-cola different things like that but you invest inside individual stocks the first thing that you could do today is diversify your portfolio by investing inside ETFs. Now ETFs is a collective of a whole bunch of different companies all put inside one ticker symbol and the one I'm going to show you guys today is ticker symbol VOO. VOO has the America's top 500 companies inside of its portfolio. So you just buy this one stock. Now you have your hand spread across the top 500 companies in America. So if one company or five different companies is performing bad during a market pullback or during a recession, then you have 495 other companies that could pick up or make up for the losses or gains of these other companies. So it kind of averaged out, it tracks the market and it's a lot better and less risky having individual stocks during a market pullback. All right. So here we are on Moomoo, Moo, guys. If you want to sign up for Moomoo, Moo, the link is down in the description. Deposit $100. You can get up to 20 free stocks by using my link. Check that out. Go ahead and sign up. Deposit $100. Get free stocks. Now, if we type in ticker symbol VOO right here, this is the Vanguard ETF 500. Top America's top 500 companies in it. As you guys can see, it's always been performing well, no matter what date or time. We can even go to the weekly over the last couple of years, all the way from 2020 to 2024. It's always performing well. It tracks the market. This is what gets you your eight to 10% gain over the last 30 years, every single year, right? So we go down and we click on the fun right here and you want to scroll down just a little bit it's going to show its top holdings now this is voo top holdings seven percent of it is microsoft nvidia apple amazon and if you want to take a look at all of their holdings you just click this button right here and then you could go through and see every single holding that's inside of their portfolio right so this is america's top 500 companies coca-cola adobe pepsico these are the ones that's holding this stock alive, these blue chip stocks. So now you have a very big diversification inside of the market and you are at less risk. Let's just say if Coca-Cola goes bankrupt and all you have is Coca-Cola, it goes down, then you lose all of your money. But if you invest inside VIO or ETF, the other 499 companies could perform well and you could possibly even make money other than lose money if one company uh, does bad. So the first thing that you guys can do to protect yourself is to diversify your portfolio by investing inside of VOO. Now, the second strategy I'm gonna tell you guys, a lot of people don't speak of, but the second one doing a market pullback during the recession is that if you could find a good quality company that announces a stock buyback, you go in and you go ahead and start to dollar cost in on that company slowly over time. Or if you see it at a good value, you could go in and throw in a lump sum of money. Now, what stock buybacks is, is that these companies out there see that their stock, its own stock is undervalued. They will go in and buy $500 million worth of their floating shares out there, just buy those up. So the less shares there are out there in the market, the more valuable your shares and your portfolio become over time. I'm not saying is that it's just gonna um, have a big jump over time, but your shares, if there's less shares out there, supply and demand, the shares that you own become more valuable to yourself. So the one that usually announce a stock buyback every single year is Microsoft. Let's take a look at Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. Now Microsoft, now as you guys can see, all the way from 2020 to 2025, uh, 24, Microsoft is has been performing extremely well. In fact, we could go out to the monthly all the way back to 2005. Microsoft has always been performing pretty well. And we all know what this dip is right here. We all know what that dip is. So uh, if we go back to the daily, Microsoft usually every single year announces a stock buyback, even during recessions, even during market pulls back, they announced that they're having a stock buyback and they don't have a $10 million stock buyback. They be having $500 million worth of stock buyback, sometimes 250 million. But when they announced these, this is one of those companies that once they announce it, oh, they're having a stock buyback this year, even though the market's pulling back, even though the market is doing bad, 
I go in and I buy up a couple of shares of Microsoft and uh, it's been that strategy has been performing extremely well for me over time um, over the next month or year or so it usually recovers and outperforms the market because there's less shares of microsoft out there now strategy number three is to invest inside of dividend kings now i know you guys started our dividend investors and you start to buy stocks that are uh, that pays out dividends every single month or every single quarter now those dividends usually sometimes can get cut during a recession they could get cut during a market pullback they could get cut if they had bad financials for the last couple of years and your portfolio is going to go down the drain i'm talking about as soon as they announce the cut you're going to lose a lot of money 10 20 30 40 percent overnight if one of your dividend paying stocks announced that they're having a dividend it, that they're cutting their dividends by a little bit or if they're cutting their dividends completely you're going to lose a lot of money inside the stock market. So the, the way that you could protect yourself versus this is to invest inside of dividend kings. Don't even worry about dividend aristocrats when the market is pulling back. You go find your good, good dividend king. Now, dividend king is any dividend paying company that's inside the S&P 500 and also has been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 50 years. That's right. Longer than most of us even been alive for the last 50 years. That means they've been through a recession or depression. They've been through a pandemic every single year. They have found a way to increase their dividend payment every single year for the last 50 years. So you won't be at risk as much as uh, these dividend kings cutting their dividends. Right. So even though you invest in a dividend paying company, you don't have to wake up every morning wondering, are they going to cut their dividends? Because usually if they could survive, the, if they could survive the pandemic, they could survive a little market pullback, right? So you want to go in and invest inside a couple of good dividend kings. Now here go a couple of good dividend kings that I love. Pepsi Cola right now is at 174. They have been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 51 years with a dividend yield of 3.14%. Another one that I love is Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J. &J. All right, Johnson Johnson have been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 61 years, and they have a 3.1% dividend yield. Um, Procter & Gamble is another good dividend um, king that I love. They have been <laughs> increasing their dividends every single year for the last 67 years, and they have a 2.4% dividend yield. So yeah, strategy three is one of my favorites to increase my cash flow income with my dividends by getting them cheap while the market is pulling back, knowing that they're going to increase their dividends the following year. So moving on to step number four, this one is also a little bit controversial, is to also buy the dip on technology stocks. Now, technology stocks is going to get hit the hardest when the market is pulling back. Let's just say if you're investing inside of Walmart, right? Walmart, if the whole market is pulling back, Walmart may pull back 7%. But if you invest inside a technology company like Amazon or anything like that, other than the whole market pulling back 7%, the technology, the technology companies might pull back 14%, 15%, 20%. These are going to get hit the hardest. Your technology stocks is going to get hit the hardest and they're going to pull all the way back. Now, this is where a little bit of strategy is going to come in. You guys need to find out where the bottom is. Or you have some buy zones every time they pull back because once the technology stocks hit that bottom and the market starts to recover. You have to know when the market starts to recover. When it starts to recover, the stocks that recover the quickest is technology stocks. So you don't wanna be buying tech stocks at the top. You wanna to be buying tech stocks at the bottom and they recover the quickest. So once the market has finished recovering, and Walmart shot back up 7% or shot back up 10%. Amazon, Google, they might shoot up 30, 40, 50% over the next following year because they have the biggest pullback, but they also recovered the quickest. And you guys need to know how to figure out when the market has reached its bottom and when to start back investing inside of these technology stocks. If you don't know how to do any of that, I'm gonna leave a link in the description and in the pinned comment section to my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to my Discord. Over there inside my Discord, I post all of my option trades, uh, my stock portfolio. I um, have courses in there, free courses in there, and you'll have access to three pro day traders that I currently have in there that post their option trades every single day, and you'll be a part of a community of traders that want to be financially free just like you. So if you guys want to learn how to trade, check out my technical analysis. Make sure that you guys check out the Patreon. That link is going to be down in the description. So yeah, guys, that's four strategies, beginner strategies. I might do another video in the future over advanced strategies on how to actually make a lot of money doing a pullback or doing a recession. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you guys hit that thumbs up button, that lets me know that you like this video and I will make an advanced one 
um, with more strategies and techniques on how to make a lot of money doing a market pullback. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Make sure that uh, you guys check out Moomoo. Moo. That link is down in the description. Deposit $100. They gave me a special link to give you guys. Um, you click that, sign up, deposit up to like $1,000 so you get up to 20 free stocks. So make sure that you check that out. I wish they had that when I first started to invest. And I think when I signed up, I got one stock, one free stock, maybe two free stocks for these other platforms. You guys are getting 20, so make sure you take full advantage of that. But in that, guys, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.